Hello everyone and welcome back to our discussion on exponential and logarithmic equations. For this video, I am going to talk about how to solve exponential equations using logarithms. So why do we need to use logarithms in solving exponential equation? Sometimes, the terms of an exponential equation cannot be written with a common base just like what we did in the previous video. In these cases, we solve by taking the logarithm of each side and then we apply logarithms with the same base on both sides of an exponential equation. Okay, so that's what are we are going to do for this lesson. Okay, let us try to solve some problems. For the first one, we have 5 raised to x plus 2 is equal to 4 raised to x. Okay, so uh, f the base of the left side of the equation is 5. The base of the right side of the equation is 4. 5 and 4 are relatively prime. Therefore, we cannot write them as a, as a common, you know, uh, hindi natin sila pwedeng isulat uh, with the same base, alright? Uh, so, there is our dilemma. So, we need to take the logarithm of both sides, okay? So, we are going to take the logarithm of the left side and the right side of the equation, okay? So, we take the logarithm of 5 raised to x plus 2 and then we also need to take the logarithm of 4 raised to x okay and then after taking the logarithm of both sides we are going to apply the rules of logarithms okay if we have an exponent here so we are going to make them the coefficient okay so this now becomes x plus 2 multiplied by the logarithm of 5 Okay, we applied the power rule for logarithm. We also applied the power rule here. So we have x logarithm of 4. Okay. And then we apply algebraic rules here. This is x plus 2 multiplied by the logarithm of 5. So we have an x variable here. We also have an x variable here. So we need to come up with an expression uh, combining these two terms with an x. Diba? Kasi we are solving for x. Uh, so, kailangan natin na i-distribute ito. So, we have x logarithm of 5 plus 2 logarithm of 5. Uh, we simply distributed logarithm of both sides to each of the term x plus 2. Okay? And then equals x logarithm of 4. Okay? So, this term and this term both have x in them so x x so we need to combine these two terms together so x logarithm of 5 minus x logarithm of 4 and then we need to transpose this to the other side so we have negative 2 logarithm of 5 now in here we are going to uh, factor out x so x multiplied by the logarithm of 5 minus the logarithm of 4 and then this is equal to negative 2 logarithm of 5 and then finally we uh, divide both sides by the logarithm of 5 minus logarithm of 4 to come up with x is equal to negative 2 logarithm of 5 minus I mean over logarithm of 5 minus logarithm of 4 okay and then take a look at this one if we can still simplify this one 5 this is logarithm of 5 minus logarithm of 4 so we can still simplify that one that is equal to negative 2 logarithm of 5 divided by the logarithm of okay 5 tapos minus 4 so we are going to use the quotient rule so that's 5 over 
5 over 4 okay so uh, see to it that this is uh, already simplified okay and I think it's already simplified okay uh, that answer is I think pretty written well if uh, it's still, if it is written in any other form is still correct you know? uh, that is the value of X in this case okay so let us take another example before we go to our next example let us examine what we did here Mona no? so we take the uh, logarithm of both sides uh, Dito, wala, wala tayong base na linagay. This is the common logarithm, ano? So, dito, uh, kapag nag-take tayo ng logarithm of both sides, kahit anong base, pwede. Okay? Pero for uh, simplicity's sake, ano? Para hindi na ma tayo masyadong mahirapan sa pagsulat, we use the common logarithm or in some other cases, we, take, we use the natural logarithm, the ln. Okay, so we are going to use the ln in this uh, next example. Okay, we use ln because of the presence of the e dito. Okay, mas madali kasi na gamitin yung natural logarithm kapag present yung e. Okay, so we have 100 is equal to 20 e raised to 2t. Okay, uh, this is not exponential dito sa left side this is not exponential tama so we can simply divide both sides by 20 okay we can simply divide both sides by 20 para may eliminate agad yung 20 okay Eta. so we have uh, 5 tama 5 is equal to e raised to 2t okay our unknown t is on the exponent dito that's why we need to take the logarithm of both sides this time we are going to use uh, the natural logarithm okay so we have the natural logarithm of 5 is equal to the natural logarithm of e raised to 2t and then we apply the power rule here so we have the natural logarithm of 5 is equal to 2t times the natural logarithm of e and uh, ln of e it's this is like logarithm of e in base e right uh, this is on the basic properties of logarithm this is equal to one the natural logarithm of e is equal to one okay and then uh, we are left with ln of five is equal to two t so we just need to divide both sides by two to come up with t is equal to the natural logarithm of five divided by Okay, this is now our answer for this problem. Okay, and then finally, let us have one more example. We have e raised to 2x minus e raised to x is equal to 56. All right, so this one is, uh, as you can see, okay, this is, <laughs> this is not an easy equation, you know, pero I think we can write this as a quadratic okay so isulat muna natin na nasa quadratic form okay so we have e raised to 2x minus e raised to x minus 56 is equal to 0 okay so let us go back doon sa klase natin noon yung equation that can be written as a quadratic okay ano ang ilet yun natin dito let u be equal to e raised to x tama Para ito magiging u squared, tama? Magiging, kasi e raised to x is u. So, u squared minus u minus 56 is equal to 0. Ito na ngayon ay, ito na ngayon ay nasa quadratic form. Quadratic form in standard form actually. Okay, so u squared minus u minus 56 can be factored, tama? So, u minus 8 at saka u plus 7 is equal to 0. Kasi 8 times 7 is 56. Negative 8 plus 7 is negative 1. Okay? And then, we equate both factors to 0. So, u minus 8 is equal to 0. And then, u plus 7 is equal to 0. 
Okay, so in dito sa unang factor, we solve u is equal to 8. Dito sa panglawa, u is equal to negative 7. But then again, we need to bring back our original variable x. Okay, alam natin, u is equal to e raised to x. That is why we need to equate a to e raised to x. So here we have e raised to x is equal to 8. Okay, so we solve for the value of x. Walang direct na pag-solve dito except by taking the natural logarithm of both sides. So we have the natural logarithm of e raised to x is equal to the natural logarithm of 8. So we have x ln of e is equal to ln of 8. Alam natin ln of e is equal to 1. Therefore, x is equal to the natural logarithm of 8. Okay, for the second one, we know u is equal to negative 7. So, we have e raised to x is equal to negative 7. At the same procedure, we get the natural logarithm of both sides. So, we have x ln of e is equal to ln of negative 7. So, x therefore is equal to ln of negative 7. But then, uh, one of the restrictions of logarithm is itong expression na ito should be greater than 1. Okay? I mean greater than 0. Okay? Hindi pwedeng mag-negative ito. Hindi pwedeng mag-negative yung na. Because if we take the natural logarithm of a negative number, hindi pwede. Ano? Mag-error yung calculator ninyo. That is why ito ay tinatawag natin na extraneous solution. Okay? That is an extraneous solution. Okay? That is why ang sagot lang natin dito, the solution set is x is equal to ln of 8. So, if we want to write this in set form, ganyan lang siya, ln of 8. Okay? So, that's it for this uh, lesson. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.